the Moscow Art Theater is the place where Brugakov was working at the time of the Stalinism, which is really harsh and really, how to say, it's bloody not democratic. And all artists were dependent of Stalin. And Stalin was care about the culture. He had an ability to pick the best artists, you know, and to play his own game with them. So it was a very bitter way for artists in that period because you know that every day can knock on the door, you know, and is coming a car and disappear forever with the whole family. So, you know, millions and millions disappeared in that period. Brugakov was writing to Stalin letters about let him to go out to exile or let him to work. And Stalin told him, it's a very famous story, Mr. Bugakov, in a day I will call you. And he never called him. He was waiting desperately for this call. So we cannot imagine this life. We cannot imagine, you know, what dictatorship can bring, you know, for an artist like uh, Bugakov, you know, who has a, I can imagine, the richness of the creativity with beautiful thought. And it's taking the pen but it doesn't behave to write the thought, because maybe this thought will be his enemy forever. And now, in the summerscape, we'll make a small production to have time to breathe out, to make silence, to, to go to detail, you know. We can focus a lot of uh, things about self-sacrifice of Margarita, about who sent Voland the evil, you know, Lucifer, that what is his real mission, what he wants to prove. Master and Margarita has a lot of codes, you know, like in the safe, you know. And I'm looking for a totally new code. It will be uh, dramatic and uh, sometimes very funny, sometimes very passionate and sometimes very sexy, you know. It is a lot of things, you know, and this is very inspiring.